Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation may be some of the hottest games on the market right now, but they are not the only games in town. If you were a big fan of Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Centipede in the 80s, well then you are in luck because what's old seems to be new again. Here's NBC's John Larson. Nearly 30 years after Pac-Man first captured the hearts and quarters of a generation, classic arcade games are back. Driven in part by nostalgic gamers and their own children, games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Galaga have never been hotter. I think it's just people reliving fond memories from their past and sharing them with their family and friends now. Whether it's on the new Xbox system, in a cell phone, or at an arcade, classic games are springing up everywhere, and enthusiasts can't seem to get enough. These games are just as exciting and just as freaky as they were back in the day. You still want to win them just as bad. The classics of the 80s may look prehistoric next to some of today's games, but many players say simple has its benefits. Ten-year-old Dominic Herrings is crazy for Donkey Kong. It's only like a joystick and, uh, and one button, so it's not really that complicated to play. Not satisfied with merely playing the games of their youth, many are now bringing them home. 27-year-old Peter Depew has five of his all-time favorites set up in the makeshift game room in his Northridge, California home. The games I grew up playing in the arcades, I'm playing at home the way God intended. With everything old seemingly becoming new again, it was only a matter of time before the pack came back. For today, John Larson, NBC News, Los Angeles. All right, so check it out. We've got three of the coolest 80s video games right here on the plaza, along with some of the best gamers in the world. On the Pac-Man machine is Abner Ashman. He is the Miss Pac-Man world record holder. That's very impressive, Abner. Billy Mitchell has been called the video gamer of the century. He's here on Donkey Kong. And playing Millipede, we have nine-year-old professional gamer Victor DeLeon III. Welcome, everybody. Okay, they really just want to get back to their games. Anyway, Victor, hi! How are you? Okay. So, I know Millipede really isn't your game, right? What's your favorite game? Halo. Halo? Halo's much more complicated than this, right? Is this really easy for you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so will you show me what's the trick to it? Um, Anything special? You just have to keep on shooting the Millipedes. Yeah? Who taught you how to play video games? Where did you get this from? Um, right. From my um, daddy. From your dad? And you're nine years old, so you must have started playing when you were how old? Two? Two. Seriously? He's an expert. Okay, a few older than Billy down here, right, or than uh, Victor down here, right, Lester? That's right. And Billy, you've been playing this for how long, Donkey Kong? Oh, I'd say I've been playing it since 1981. 19, how do you get good at it? Well, I mean, this was one I never got into. What was the, what was the key to Donkey Kong? Uh, persistency, stubbornness, and you had to be just as mean as the machine. I mean the machine. And how long can you go without uh, and, and still keep this game playing? About two and a half hours. Good grief. And uh, you, you still play on a regular basis? Uh, only when someone like you comes around and says, play for me. Ah, it, you know, it must, it must be fun to see these things coming back. Billy, thanks. Let's turn over to, to Abner right now. You're, this is Miss Pac-Man. No, what? this is, this is uh, actually Pac-Man. This is Pac-Man, and you're, you're a champion of Miss Pac-Man. What's the difference? Difference, obviously, obviously uh, the, the gender. Uh, yeah, but uh, the gameplay is pretty much the same. It's just different boards, different mazes. You have to know different tricks. And how long have you been playing this? Uh, since 1982, 25 years. Fun to see it come back? Yeah, most definitely. All right. Admiral, thanks. I'm going to get a turn here when you're done, all right? Cool, no problem. <laughs> all right, thanks very much, and congratulations to all our players. All of them. Did, you ever, did you ever play? Um, yeah, yeah, when we were kids, this is, um, my parents sometimes when we were getting on their nerves used to just give us piles of quarters yeah. and send us into the video game yeah. place. Just get out of my hair. That was their solution. Fun stuff. That's where we could play them at home. Anyway, thanks to all the guys. Can't decide between white and the red. Now you don't have to. Up next, the hottest trend in summer wines. But first, this is today on NBC.